In this video, we're going to go over assigning shaders to objects and an introduction to the hypershade. In Maya, when you create a new primitive, you automatically have a shader assigned to it. So everything has a shader assigned to it. Um, let's click on the sphere and we'll go to the attribute editor. And we see that we have a Lambert assigned to the sphere. And it's called Lambert 1. This is the default shader that Maya assigns everything when it's newly created. Close this and let's select our ground plane and open up the attribute editor again. And here we see we have the Lambert one assigned to the ground plane as well. If you want to add color or textures or anything like that to an object, do not make changes to this Lambert one. Leave Lambert 1 alone. This is the default shader. And if you want to assign colors, let's assign a new shader to our objects. So let me show you how we can assign new shaders. Select the sphere. Now if you right click on an object, you'll get the marking menu. And down towards the bottom, you'll see we have some material options. Material attributes, if we select that, it just opens up our attribute editor to our material that's assigned to that object. If we right click again, we can see we have assign a favorite material, assign a new material, and assign existing materials. Now, anytime you create a new material, it automatically will show up in this assign existing materials because we only have the one a default Lambert already assigned. That's why it's the only one that's here right now. So a good place to go is to go to the favorite materials and you'll have a good assortment of a lot of standard materials. For instance, Blin, Lambert, Fang, Fang E, and a surface shader. So let's just assign a Lambert. And now you can see we have a Lambert 3 assigned to our sphere. So we close this, right click on here and say material attributes. It opens up our Lambert 3. And in here we can go ahead and make changes to things like the color. Another way that we can change the shaders and assign shaders is through the hypershade. The way to get to the hypershade is to go through Window, Rendering Editors, and Hypershade. And this is the hypershade window. In this section, under the Materials tab, we have a visual representation of all of the shaders that we have already in our scene. So you see we have the pink shader on our sphere right now, and here we have our Lambert 3, which is that pink shader. This area is the work area. We can get a visual representation of our shader network in this area. The way to see our shader network in this area is by right-clicking over a shader and going down to Graph Network. And because we don't have anything else, because we have nothing else connected to the shader, this work area is left blank, and all we see is our shader. So if we want to create a new shader, we can make sure we're under Maya and select Surface. And these are all the surface shaders that we can apply to our object. So instead of making a Lambert, let's click on Fong. And now you see we have a Fong in our work area and a Fong 2 appears in our Materials section. If we select our sphere and then right-click on the Fong 2, we get an option up on the top that says Assign Material to Selection. And now if we right-click on our sphere, we can look at our material attributes, and we see we have the Fong 2 assigned to our sphere. 
If we have nothing selected, we can come into this hypershade. If you would like to see which objects certain shaders are assigned to, you can right click on the shader and say select objects with this material. And now we can see that the only thing that's assigned to a Fong 2 is that sphere. And that is an introduction to assigning materials and the hypershade.